Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, these were the harmful effects, but what about the causes? What caused air pollution? Industrial emissions. Now, with industrial development, so many factories and industries have been set up at different places. Now, these factories and industries emit a large number of poisonous gases. For example, furans, toxins, but these, all these things, they have the ability to mutate human genes. Not only that, in the industries and factor factories, a lot of burning takes place, right? So, when plastics are burned, a lot of harmful gases like carbon monoxide, sulfur, along with oxygen, nitrogen, they get emitted. So, these poisonous gases in turn pollute the air in the surroundings. Dust. Now, dust from large stretches of land with little or no vegetation because if you have too many plants or trees, what happens? The roots of the plants, they tend to hold the soil tightly. But when there are no plants, what happens? Like the soil or the sand, you know, they tend to kind of move away from one place to another. So, this results in more dust. So, with little vegetation, you will have more dust and these dust in turn will pollute the air. Radioactive emission. Now, radioactive decay occurs within the earth's crust. The gases like radon are produced. Now, radon is a very uh, harmful gas which can cause diseases like lung cancer. So, it can be really deadly. Volcanic activity produce harmful, harmful substances like sulfur, chlorine and even a lot of ash. Smoke from fires or even the smoke from burning of different substances which might contain a very harmful gas like carbon monoxide. Automobiles. So when we talk about the automobiles, uh, the smoke that gets emitted from the various vehicles that also pollute the uh, air. Not only that, too much of noise which is caused by honking of vehicles which is like a, a kind of unnecessary noise that can also cause psychological as well as physiological damage to human beings. So that means automobiles add to air pollution as well as noise pollution. So as discussed when we talk about the industrial emissions, industrial emissions primarily contain sulfur and nitrogen dioxides which are extremely harmful for humans. So if you talk about the sulfur dioxides, so sulfur dioxide is a colorless gas however it has a very pungent smell and it is very reactive in the sense that it reacts easily with other substances to form harmful uh, things like sulfuric acid. So, sulfur dioxide reacts to form sulfuric acid or sulfurous acid or sulfate particles. So, now this sulfuric acid in turn can cause acid rain. The sulfate particles can be transported in breathable particulate material. Now, if these particles are breathed in, like when we are breathing, these particles might also enter inside our body. So they can cause nose and throat irritation, coughing, shortness of breath or even tight feeling around the chest. So these are some of the problems that can instantly happen if you, if you inhale the sulfate particles or any of these harmful substances. Now, it, wh why so much of sulfur dioxides are emitted from industries? That's because industrial activity processes materials containing sulfur. For example, electricity generation from coal, oil or gas that contains sulfur. Similarly, mineral ores contain sulfur. So, their processing also release sulfur dioxide. So, in industries, we deal with materials which, which have a lot of sulfur. So, therefore, uh, the sulfur dioxide gets released in large amount from industries. Now, when we come to nitrogen dioxides, so these nitrogen dioxides are also very harmful. So, their source is primarily the burning of fossil fuels. For example, when you burn coal, oil, gas, diesel, etc. at very high temperatures, nitrogen dioxides are released. Now, the property of nitrogen dioxide is that it very easily mixes with particles in the air and pollute it. And if 
these this polluted air that means the air mixed with nitrogen dioxide if that is inhaled by us it can cause cough it can affect the lungs can even cause asthma or other respiratory infection automobiles now as discussed in short before that automobiles release harmful tiny particles in the air and these particulate matter if inhaled can cause diseases primarily respiratory problems again not only that the presence of these tiny particles in the air also reduce the visibility on roads so if the visibility is reduced what happens it is more accident prone because you do, you see everything hazy so when you see things hazy what happens you might end up uh, meeting accidents so the chances of accidents increases they also produce high levels of carbon monoxide carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides now carbon monoxide is one very harmful gas and how when is it produced it is produced by incomplete burning of petrol or diesel now carbon monoxide is so harmful that it can even lead to death if present in large quantities now do you know what actually carbon monoxide does why is it so harmful that it can even cause death so in if carbon monoxide reaches inside our body in sufficient amount it reduces the oxygen delivery to different organs of the body because as we know that every organ of our body or every cell inside our body needs oxygen because with oxygen only the cellular respiration takes place that means the process of respiration taking place inside every cell needs oxygen so it is very important that oxygen should be able to reach out to each and every cell of the body now when the carbon monoxide is present in large amount inside the body it reduces the oxygen delivery to different parts of the body so if oxygen is not able to reach to different parts of the body then what will happen respiration will not take place as a result the organisms will not be able to survive so that way carbon monoxide is extremely harmful and therefore it leads to death in fact when you talk about carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is necessary for living organisms but only in small amounts so if there are high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that will be harmful because too much of carbon dioxide can increase the overall temperature of the earth too much of carbon dioxide also contributes to the greenhouse effect so we will learn about greenhouse effect sometime later in this chapter so where you will see that if there is excess of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere it overall spoils the appropriate temperature of the earth automobiles also release a lot of smoke now what exactly is smoke what the smoke con contain that smoke is harmful now smoke contains again nitrogen oxides which combined with other particles in air to form nitric acid so nitric acid that is again an acid which is extremely harmful which can not only be a cause of acid rain it can also combine with fog to form uh, now so you know it it kind of uh, again pollutes the air so if you inhale that air it can again cause a lot of respiratory problems not only that smoke can also combine with fog so smoke if it combines with fog it forms smog and smog is generally seen in winters because normally we see fog in winters so fog when combines with smoke makes it smog and smog can cause breathing problems asthma cough etc so basically if you look at all the causes you would see that the major harmful effects like with air polluted air mostly the respiratory system of different animals get damaged Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.